Hello there, Whipper here, and welcome back to another mod showcase. And can we please get 300 likes for this mod showcase? That would be really awesome. But anyway, today's mod I'm going to be showing you is a mod that adds an aging system into Minecraft called the Aging Mod. As you'd probably guess, it's quite a simple mod name. Uh, but anyway, what this basically does is adds an aging system, and it also impacts on your player model, so it changes the size of you depending on how old you are in Minecraft. So as the Minecraft days advance, um, you'll actually become older, and eventually you'll end up dying of old age, which is really awesome. Um, but anyway, there's actually a new op like GUI option menu kind of thing that you can actually access now by pressing the U key, and this tells you all sorts of information about yourself. But before we go into that, I'm just going to press F5 now and show you what I mean by it changes the size of you. So you can see now I am tiny. Yes, I'm a midget me. Yes, midget me, midget whipper, and I've got a tiny moustache. It's a bit weird though that I'm a child and I've got a moustache. Oh well. And my top hat's got smaller, and you can even see that the items in my hand are visually rendered smaller, <laughs> even though it would be kind of cool if the um items in the hand were still the same size, it looked crazy, but now nah, they're actually decreased um, in proportion to the size of your Minecraft character. Um, so when you spawn, you spawn as a child, and then as the Minecraft days progress, you'll get slowly older and older, and therefore bigger and bigger, until you reach adulthood, and then you'll stay the same size for the rest of your life, and then you get older and start shrinking again. Yes, and I've just summed up your whole life now in a few words. How do you feel? <laughs> that looks really weird, look at that, it's like a hunchback. Uh, but yeah, so as I was saying, if you press U, you can actually you see some information about yourself. So at the top um, thing here, that centered text, it says the month, and yes, these month names are insane. I'll show you those later. But then it's got the day of the month, and then how many years you've actually lived for. And then at the top there, you've also got your name, which is Whipple 179. That'd be a terrible name in real life. Imagine if you called that in real life. Now I'm just insulting my own name. But yeah, next up we've got the time lived, and this is in Minecraft days. And it'll also say the amount of Minecraft years as well, um, in addition to the days. Uh, and you'll see that later. Uh, but after that, we've got real years and converted. And that's how many years in real life that the amount of Minecraft days you've lived for actually equates to. And then finally, we've got the growth stage, which currently says I'm a child. And that's because I am. I've just spawned and I'm zero days old. I'm just fresh to this world. Uh, but next up, we've got this calendar option. And this is where I can show you the really insane month names. So we've got Redstonery, Goldar, Diamondar, and then Emildery. And you can see each month has a different amount of days in it. And all of these add up to a year. So a year will have these four months in it. And then as one year passes, you'll advance through the days of the months. And the top bit here, which says the month, will actually update uh, to the correct year that you're actually currently in. Um, but anyway, that's the calendar system, and you can see it highlights the day that it currently is. Uh, but finally, we've got this option down here, which is the days. And again, we go back to the insane names. So they've actually named the days of the weeks. Uh, we've got the Wolf's Day, Blaze Day, Wither Day, Gas Day, and Ender Day, and then it repeats. So there's only five days in a week, and then it resets. And you can just, this is a good way of seeing what day of the week each um, day will be in each month. Uh, I don't know really why you'd want to know this. Uh, maybe if you were playing this on multiplayer and you wanted to tell someone what day of the week it was, you could use this. Uh, but I don't really know why you'd want to do that. But it's just a cool little feature to make it seem a bit more real, I suppose. But yeah, that pretty much sums it up for this options menu. And that actually brings me on to another glitch look. You can see at the back of my menu here, I am sinking through the ground. And that is a little glitch with this player model updating thing. Uh, you do glitch through the world. If you press escape, you'll start glitching through the world like so. I mean, look at that. I can now see all the caves. It's a good way of um, x-ray and finding the caves. Uh, but anyway, next up, I wanted to show you how the aging system works. So you can see here, I'm tiny, but if I type in the command JYC age, like so, and then the amount of days lived, uh, so I want to set my age to about 20 days, Minecraft days that is, and then my player name like so, and then press enter. You can see I've got a little bit bigger, and the item in my hand has got a little bit bigger, and yeah, I've just aged a bit. And then if I press U, and you can see my growth stage is still a child, but my time lived is now 20 Minecraft days, and my real years converted is 10 years. So I'm now 10 years old in equivalence to actual real life. And there you go. Um, and now I'm going to try something else. Let's go to... Uh, about 40 days uh, old, so there we go. And you can see my growth stage has actually changed to teen. Uh, my time lived is now 40 days, and in real years, um, that's gonna be 14 years old. Um, and finally, there's one more stage I need to show you, and that is if I set my age to 50, there we go. I am now even bigger, and if I press U, you can see my growth stage is adult now. I have now lived for four days and one Minecraft years, so you can see I've gone through all the months now, and yeah, there we go. I am now a adult. 
Um, I did think this is a bit weird though, because in real years, this is 16 years old. I wouldn't class someone as 16 uh, as an adult at 16 years old. Uh, I'd probably think more about 18, maybe 20 would be an adult. I, I don't know. Anyway, it's a mod. It doesn't really matter anyway. But that's um, pretty much how it works. Um, so there we go. But there is one final stage which I need to mention, and that is that if you get too old, uh, let's put ourselves to 450, you can see I've got a little bit bigger now, uh, and when you actually get too old, there's a small chance that when you're walking around, well actually I say small chance, there's quite a big chance, um, that when you walk around you're just going to drop dead, that's it, you'll just die, and you've lost your world, so <laughs> be careful, uh, you don't really want to be doing that, uh, and there is actually a way to prevent this, uh, but when you get too old, of course, when you walk around, you can just drop dead randomly, because you're too old, you might have a heart attack or something, and then it's just game over, and as I said, there is a way to prevent this, so if you press U, you get this new option that shows up, um, you can see the growth stage still says I'm an adult, Maybe they should update this to say elderly or something, just to make it like it's a different growth stage. Um, and you can see the time lived is now 36 days and 9 Minecraft years. Uh, but yeah, you can see I've got this new option here, and it says rebirth will cost an emerald. And what this basically means is you have the option, when you get old enough, to actually go back to being a child again, and then you'll just go really small again, I'll become a midget, and you can just restart as if nothing ever happened. And you keep all your items, you don't lose your world, it's just really awesome. Um, now I have got some suggestions for this mod which I really want to say um, and that is that they could add some effects they're actually put onto your character as you get older, so say when you get really old you actually get a slowness effect to make you slower, and maybe they could have updated the player model to make it so you're hunched over or a little bit smaller, because as you, as you get older in real life of course, you can shrink and you'll get hunched over and back problems and stuff, so maybe they could have tried to represent that a little bit more in the game and made you progressively slower and slower as you aged. Uh, but that's just a little suggestion that I thought would be quite awesome. Although there is one more item that this mod adds which I need to show you, so if I just go over to load 4 here, like so, you can see I've got this new item here called a digital watch, and to craft this, um, you're going to need two iron ingots and a redstone item, and also some leather as well, and then you can craft yourself a digital watch. And then once you've got your digital watch, you just put it anywhere in your inventory, like so, and then you'll actually see it visually rendered on your arm, and it tells you what um, hour it is in the day. So you can see it's now 5pm, or 17.00 hours in um, a 24 hour format, but there we go. And it just tells you the hour, and now it's 6pm, um, and if I set it to midnight, you can see it's now midnight, and you can see it's updated to 00, zero on my watch. So it's a really cool way of actually um, trying to find out the time, and it's a big improvement of the normal um, Minecraft clock, which just uh, gives you an arrow and an indication of um, whether it's day or night. This is a much better and more, much more digital upgraded version of it, and I think it's really cool, and you can of course have this anywhere in your inventory, and it will just appear on your arm visually rendered. Um, but that pretty much sums up everything in this mod. So if you've enjoyed this mod showcase, please remember to leave a like, and I'll see you next mod showcase, and thank you for watching.